you know because because um because this was part of mk ultra and whoever was doing project with the pools with the ponds with the lakes and everybody did more than anyone chinese started to do this i was into into this type of project since my childhood due to fishing which was my interest uh, i became acquainted with the importance of the water and just because this was an mk ultra subject and i've seen so many people trying um really good attempts people people did really good stuff i mean there's no doubt that i saw people doing this stuff involved in mk ultra um they just um they just really did a good job i mean there's no doubt about it i haven't seen a single project anyone that would do that would do a bad job but you know, I decided that at the end of this stuff that I watched on the YouTube from those people that were involved in. This is very obnoxious stuff that was, by the way, involved in MK Ultra, believe it or not. Um, I have watched, I have no idea how many of these videos about artificial lakes, ponds and studied uh, what people people's ideas how they did this stuff and i'm i'm just gonna put it this way also was involved in mk ultra brainwash with a girl that you see right there participated i have no idea that i was told that i have to investigate who she is this and that um i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you um One minute, ten minutes of how I would do the pond. For one thing, people people are using all kinds of ponds, and uh, there's numerous, many, many, many technologies that I have seen people are using. Uh, in the best technologies that I have seen people are using, there are two uh, types of technologies. One technology is like this one here that people are using. And obnoxious stuff is that, that this shit has been going around for already two months, three months, and they keep repeating this stuff. Every video I click is the same commercial. This is the most obnoxious stuff. But never mind, never mind. People are using what are known as liners, you know? Liners is basically this black plastic that you see, uh, like some sort of foil, something like that, that once you would dig the hole, you would just uh, use this plastic, right? Is it? Is it the stuff I'm talking about? In this case, it's not even this. This is, this is actually a natural, is it? Yeah, this is, this, believe it or not, this is actually natural. It looks like it's going to be a natural without. Uh, let's just here, I'm going to put the liner. This is liner. It's like a, oh no, okay. This is a type of stuff you would you would just cover the floor, the bottom of the lake, sides of the lake with this black. Uh, whatever you want to say this snow whatever, and then you would glue this together, or if you like weld this together, plastic whatever, um, and that would definitely give you some time to use. Um, your pond, your lake, whatever is the project you are working on, it does have a extremely negative, uh, extremely extremely negative uh, impact on um, on existence of the pond because eventually one day you you will have to replace this stuff. So in one way it does have a good things, 
It does have a bad thing. So I will never forget Nurse Yanko from Home for Elderly People, who, you know, my father is a fishing harvestry technician and worked in harvesting, fishing harvesting. One of the things was to also build professionally uh, fishing harvesting facilities, lakes, ponds, now you get me where I'm coming from, why this video. And I will never forget these bullies uh, from Milan Kuchan. Uh, they drenched around and for making the issues on how I'm going to make the lake and pond and this and that. And the only thing they're going to do is they will just go and slit the liner and the water is going to go through. Uh, that they will also go and damage the pond and this and that. Uh, yeah, people are satanic, whichever place you go. This is definitely not only in Slovenia. So what you see right there is not my choice. Then the next thing they got was the opinion from my father about um, about uh, natural, uh, therefore clay covered uh, pond, which my father always was using when he built ponds in Serbia. Uh, when they were doing this stuff, uh, there was just, uh, let me see, this natural clay pond. Oh, we're going to remove the liner and let's show that the, they call this uh, uh, whatever, organic whatever. Yeah, let's see this here. Okay, one shawl is the cost. All right. Okay, so now there are different clays. All right, so clay is clay. Um, and so now there are different clays. The question is what kind of clay you're up to. Some clays you, you're going to find in your area wherever it is that you are. They could be waterproof. In fact, they could be capable to hold the water. Um, there's a very interesting effect that comes to play uh, when you seal uh, the earth so the water remains in that uh Puddle, let's say, Zayem. Um, uh, and then you also have artificial, uh, you also have artificial type of clays, you know. Um, pond, bentonite, yeah, bentonite, uh, well, something like that. Um, some people instead of using this natural clay which is very expensive by the way my father told me that this is the best way to do it but the thing is it's very expensive and you need awfully a lot of this clay he told me you have to really, you have to deliver numerous trucks into it and builders one and uh, it's it's enormous work uh, alternative to that kind of stuff is what this gentleman did is we're basically just doing this kind of stuff here and what you see this then it, it um, kind of absorbs the water creates the water pockets and that kind of a seals uh, ground uh, the surface and the water stays in there this is a natural way to do it there's no health risks involved in it then a Chinese uh, are uh, using also next to this plastic that I demonstrated you already they are using uh, pond cement bentonite china there's some kind of uh, stuff that they are using and it's extremely 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 uh, it's extremely, extremely efficient because it's rapid and uh, the, they typically governments would use this type of material uh, it's, it's like some sort of blanket you know that's right uh, what is it uh, clay liner all right so I'm just gonna put here clay liner Play a liner and as soon as the water gets to it it just turns into a cement basically 
it is especially useful whenever you try to create uh, canals or something like instead of facing with uh, Nalil Vada uh, water basically rushing uh, down the mountain uh, you would just make the canals and just lay this blanket and the next thing you see then is just it turns into cement basically solid cement and that would then prevent uh, water from going any other way you know you definitely will avoid a catastrophe uh, this is what the Robert Golod also learned from my case because of people involved in this case manufacturers and so on and that's what he came up with idea that should be used hey <laughs> I mean uh, got to choose from the palette of products uh, to avoid flooding and natural disasters uh, in um, in Slovenia where they had this Hudournik uh, rapid streams due to a large amount of rain coming down from the mountains from the Alps and causing catastrophe uh, so I'm not gonna uh, further look for that stuff you probably imagine what that's like uh, so these are these are basically alternatives let me see this Pond channel are we gonna see something like this somewhere actually For the people that did play with this stuff, uh, is this good? Just it's many different names they had they're using, but I gave you the principle. This is like a blanket which you lay down on the ground, um, then you sew that together, uh, and simply as soon as the water gets on the uh, on this material, this material turns into the concrete. Is it gonna be? <laughs> uh, instead of do wasting my time like that, because I don't find this stuff right now. It's been some time since I've seen that. Instead, I'm gonna give you idea concrete shelter portable they also do shelters like this so check this out the same principle got to be scoop by Zate. okay no. this commercial was not involved in it and this one also was not involved in it just the two commercials I mentioned earlier. So this looks like this. Now the implications of this new technology are far-reaching because it's going to allow people to... Hospitals. Once the cloth is... Comp the blow is on. The only other bit of gear you need is something to drag out the cloth so it's completely unfolded before it's inflated. I still can't imagine what it's going to look like, but... I can't believe that that little blower is lifting that weight. Concrete canvas building has good thermal properties, so whatever's inside is kept either cool or warm, and it can even provide a sterile environment for surgery. Yeah, I didn't realise there were going to be doors on it. Has it got a door? <laughs> Goodness me, you thought of everything, didn't you? You can actually get in it. <laughs> and just a day later, it's ready to walk in and use. It's strong enough to stand on. Endure hammer blows and even the heat from a blowtorch. Enough. I haven't seen them even pouring the water on it, uh, which was the case with this type of uh, concrete liners, let's say, when creating lakes, uh, channels, and so on. Um, so these are different methods, okay? So basically, the mistake that I have seen doing people, in my opinion,
is like you see with this gentleman and everyone else for that matter on YouTube. What exactly is the mistake here? Uh, one mistake that I would say. Let's go back. Uh, for me personally, this is not a lake. Um, this is, I don't know, maybe a meter, maybe a meter and a half deep. The problem with a meter, meter and a half deep lake is, in my opinion, this is a waste of time. Because you invested a lot of money to create something which obviously is a decent size of a pocket of the water you're going to be using, right? Why would you be creating a pool if not to have as much water as possible in it? Because the cost is almost the same. When you're doing a wild stuff like this, the cost is just differentiating a little bit. That's one mistake, in my opinion, I'm going to say. And this kind of mistakes have severe implications, in my opinion, again, because this I have seen throughout the United States. People are just losing their mind. They're going insane. Actually, throughout the Europe, the same thing. The pond creators. They are all choking with those ponds. All those ponds get uh, covered with bacteria. There is no oxygen in it. Uh, they get frozen if in a winter time, if they're not deep enough, and they get the heated uh, with dead fish without the oxygen and everything. It turns into the puddle of crap basically in the summertime uh, useless stuff stinking rather right stuff swamp uh, in the summertime it gets hot and shit I've seen people disappointed tremendously and it, it presented a big problem somewhere in the desert in the US they were using like uh, black balls uh, to dump them in the lake in order to stop the evaporation of the water and so on. It's just like numerous problems then that come out of uh, absolutely uh, shallow ponds, lakes. This, in my personal opinion, uh, it should be completely out of question. For me personally, if I would do this, I would never ever thought about doing anything like this. That's one thing I have to say to you. I'm going to get to, I'm going to explain to you how I would build the pond, what exactly I would do to build the pond, and why I would build the pond, and why I would even, in a certain areas, in the US, let's say, where the desert is, uh, and also here in Europe, where Alps already are completely dry and have turned instead into the desert, require from people who raise structures even from already existing house owners, I would demand them to build ponds. Okay, we're going to get to this issue. But right now, this is the thing. The biggest problem that people are facing, uh, and they are installing expensive filters, and they filtrate the water. There's a water bill, and they pay. It's all kinds of stuff I have seen. Poor people. Uh, somebody over there on YouTube paid 20000 uh, just trying to seal the pond and so on. Uh, and the water still got through. It was wasted. Uh, needs to invest more money to uh, to improve the pond and so on. Uh, man, the stuff I have seen that people do. Uh, some people that do and consider the stuff as a success and so on. Um, yeah, some people are just happy with what they have. Um, it's just horrific. I mean, in my opinion, it's horrific. Uh, now, uh, the beauty of all this stuff, this is all in the eyes of beholder. Um, people, more or less, are all happy, finally, with what they built. Uh, but this is just going to be my opinion I'm going to give you. And what you're going to do with it, uh, that's up to you. All right, but basically, folks, you involved in a youth in in this case, the way I would build this 
project, pond project. It is number one thing I have to say to you. In my in my in my personal opinion, uh, the house when you go and you decide you're gonna build the house, uh, the house itself uh, is not worth shit in my opinion. It doesn't have any kind of value. What it does have the value basically is what is around the house. Well, one thing for certain, in my opinion, is that building your house next to the lake uh, gives you a tranquility, a, a necessary peace, and also a time to complete your structure uh, to your performance, to your expectations, the way you want, uh, and through as little stress and financial struggle in my opinion as possible now you're gonna say crazy uh, why would i go and build pond before i would build the house because it's always going to give you in my opinion some sort of satisfaction you're going to see there is water right there uh, there's some water in it it's relaxing stuff uh, i don't know maybe you want to jump in it sometimes swim a little bit and then continue to do your stuff um maybe you just want to build instead of the full-size house uh maybe maybe you just want to build first pond uh and just a portion of the house you know and once you once you have let's say uh, this little house but pond also um, you concentrate uh, on continuation of the pond because it's not so of such a great importance to finish the house entirely first uh, if you have something that is with roof over your head and you have lake pond next to you you have no idea what kind of satisfaction, peace, tranquility this gives you. In my opinion, every house owner that does the house, that is on some terrain, that is large land and so on, I personally, I definitely would go first. First thing I would do is, I would do the pond. A decent sized pond. So, I don't care. When I would be working on my house, that that hour, that day that I would take, the best place in the world i would go right next to the water and i would eat there drink there whatever water relax myself and then go back it's a stress reliever it's a it's a mountain of health that pond gives you and if you're fortunate enough the water clean enough you can throw yourself in it and swim um that's one thing now if i would go and i would build pond is like this um i would i would do it like this uh then what i would do is i would do it like this and i would even do it like this like this and the same thing is what i would do obviously i would do here very very similar thing like this and what uh, i would do is what i would do is i would do let's just say that this is a water level what i would do is i wouldn't do as the way the people do it I personally, it depends how big you want to do it, I would do it as deep as possible. Simply, I would do it as deep as possible. If you ask me, preferably 10 meters deep. 10 meters deep is a very, very decent pocket of water. And when I say 10 meters deep 
I would go right here that I would do 10 meters deep right this here I would go straight for this I would do right here 10 meters deep and if you ask me here if I could I would do even 20 meters deep just like this why would I do this stuff because I like the clean water because I want I don't want to be disturbed in the summertime with uh, algae's growing up covering the lake eating the whole fucking place turning into the stinking puddle that's like the main reason why I would do it I would do it so the deep pockets of water keep the water cool there is a certain process of the photosynthesis inside involved. Uh, algae will not manage to grow so long and cover the whole thing, turn the whole thing into the dumpster. And I don't want to pay for an electricity bill. That's the reason mainly why I would do it this way. Now the way I would do this kind of stuff yeah and on the bottom what I would do is I would do I would throw this um, what are they shells this these are what they say, these are lungs and muscles, and muscle filtration. They are natural cleansers of the water. They, they are purifiers of the water, natural, without your using the filter. What do you think about this stuff, guys? Because now it's a deep water and... I don't know really on how deep, how deep can this fresh water Uh, actually they're deep because I was diving and stuff and snorkeling and I have seen they're quite deep so I think that this would be fantastic this this would be like enormous advantage over the electricity bill etc etc if you would do something I suggested Here I would definitely make edge like this and it would be edge also here like this like this and the way I would build the lake the construction and here is where I would go still this is what I would do anyways I would also make sure that I do have uh, a place for the fish to um, mate basically and also a place for a swimming like a, a beach basically where you descend into the water and you go for a swimming which would be basically this area here gradually that that would allow me to go to the water um, fish prefers even up to one meter deep drastania I don't know how you say that when they when they do their um, offsprings I don't know uh, when they mate and so on this is basically the way it works 
uh, they prefer this because it's a warmer water in this area it would be nice perfect warmer water in this area pocket for them um, and so this is this is the way to maintain in my opinion a pond or a lake it depends how much money you are willing to invest in it I understand that for one acre of water if you want to do a natural uh, bentonite that that dust that you throw all over the bottom in order to create like a little pockets um, like this but then afterwards they they end up mixing with the water and cement basically sort of seal in the fish i hope y'all enjoy this video hopefully i'll get a few more videos out there in the future y'all take care stay safe stay happy yeah all right and you see how he has this edge this edge is not steep it has got to be this way so the clay can keep the water like that it's it's got to be done you know their legs the way they do it they can't afford to do it any different way they have to do it this way all right but my construction the way i would do it maybe i'm completely wrong about this stuff i don't know the way i would do it now i didn't ask any engineers if this will work or not but what I would do is this here, this area here that you see here, this, this stuff here is where I would go, you know, like this, if you would do the profile of this stuff. Um, I learned that uh, you need about, to do something like this man does for one acre. Of land is about 4,000 meters square square meters you need between I don't know um, 30 and 120 tons of what you see right there he threw uh, around the lake this is what they suggest to the people the cost is so Expensive or not, I don't know. Uh, One thousand uh, dollars um, is uh, let's say one hundred and twenty tons of this material you would need. Uh, so it's w one ton of it is 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 one hundred dollars. So um, if you need let's just say let's just say you need somewhere in the middle that you need 70 70 tons of this material for one acre let's say 4,000 square meters to seal the uh, this lake 4,000 square meters or one acre um, let's say that you need 70 tons of it or let's say that you need 80 tons of it who cares uh, how much money would that be? Well, one ton would be 100. Uh, so the 10 tons, uh, that would be 1,000. And you multiply that uh, with 8, and you're going to get about, what, 8,000 uh, for 80 tons of material. 8 thousand for 80 tons of this material so this is cheap and on the other hand it's not cheap i don't know what the fuck the cheap is but to me personally this is more worth than a house because house is just a structure where you must throw the apple in it you're gonna have a roof above your head uh and you're gonna be damn poor if you're not gonna have something more attached to your house, something around your house, something that's going to give you a peace of mind. This is about the housing project. Anyways, that's the way I see it. I think that if you have pond, it's very easy to build a house.
is I think I feel like the car is running on dry uh, versus good well taken care car that is satisfied all the time basically and is just completing the project with the ease this is the way I feel I don't know to me the water is life that's how important it is so I wanted to give you a little idea about this cost when it's about this plastic liner those that's very very expensive that's a totally different story the stuff that you see here this stuff here this is what I would do a cement I would cement this here the walls so now this would be probably quite expensive but it's one thing that this stuff would do because this stuff is also would be more steep um, it would keep the water hell okay uh, and on the bottom where I would place this type of clay that you have seen this type of bentonite that you have seen the gentleman was doing I think this is perfect to seal the floors that this is more perfect to seal the floors I think the water mostly is lost on the sides rather than on the bottom so this this lake of mine this pond would be would be sealed quite efficiently I think from my perspective but then again I don't know what the engineers would say and I don't know what the costs are but if I wanted to complete the project I want really this project to be completed really well this obviously here in this area again would be a bentonite here and when it comes to the walls like this here this is again I would do the concrete wall uh, and involving one whatever it takes to cement one best of my abilities basically make sure that the water would not go through here uh, the same thing with the rest of the whatever is whatever is going to sites I would want to make sure that uh, basically it's concrete simple as this this would be my technology for the pond so this here only Yes, where I would do bentonite here of course that where the bentonite comes the area is much much larger when compared to the side walls right um, but still when you're doing a project like this you're making a big decision for how long you're completing the project for are you completing the project for uh, 10 years 30 years is what this plastic even holds the black plastic I demonstrated you the liner they put inside of the on the bottom of the lake which is really expensive by the way it costs you that stuff is costly um, but what you, you what you have seen something that I demonstrated here some people say hundred years some people even hundreds of years the shit I'm talking about probably would freaking last you forever and I mean when I say forever I mean many 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 generations of people who knows how many generations of people is this is something all right something something you do something that can change the entire region if it's big enough for the people even when it's a necessity to in the summertime to draw the water out of this uh, tank out of this pool out of this lake uh, it also could be used uh, if it's a fire or whatever it is the stuff could also be used to suppress the fire someplace for the fire rescue and so on uh, this is a serious freaking project including your house you could have this stuff I mean um, when it comes to the Midwest and stuff I would lay the law down for the people to create certain size of the pond first before you start building the house according to certain quality inspection specifications and so on 
safety and, and that kind of stuff. I think that uh, if you build thousand houses and every house would have to have, I don't know, 20 meter, 10 meter square uh, pond, that would really contribute something to entire uh, region. And little by little, if, you know, you could you could turn the city instead of the concrete crap. When you look at these cities they created in the middle of the desert with these fucking concrete homes. Uh, this is horrific, in my opinion. I mean, this this makes the whole place even more hellish. Rather than to turn this into something, first of all, ecological, environmentally friendly project, and through the ecologically aware, friendly project into pleasant environment, into something pleasant to live in. Yeah, you don't understand how much this would contribute to the quality of life and everything, agriculture and everything, farming. I mean, it's impossible to even explain. I think in the U.S. they're doing it wrong completely completely wrong and I'm afraid you're never gonna come to them anyways but the way I would do this stuff I would do this stuff completely completely different than what anybody was doing on a YouTube and I'm not saying that anybody was doing this wrong uh, these are just my ideas about it. now how the hell would I go and dig the hole I had a big problem with that stuff too Basically, the way I would dig the hole is like this. Uh, the first thing I would do is I would I would deliver myself the bulldozers and trucks. And what I would do is now we're looking at a profile. We're now looking at, we are now looking this from a different perspective. We are now looking from the other angle from the side. Each of these pockets that you see is one meter. Yeah, that's a whole lot, one meter, anyways. But this is probably what the bulldozers uh, and trucks could use as the most efficient, speedy, way to build a pond. Pond is a full-time work just as a house, just as anything else. Me personally, I would want the pond as big as I can get, man. If I could get 10 acres, I would do 10 acres. If I can get 50 acres, I would do 50. If I could get 100, I would build myself a 100 acre pond, because no pond is, I should say, even lake. Is big enough in my opinion. Each of these guys here one meter. Like this. Listen, even if you do a quarter of acre pond is really, 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 really much better than no pond at all. I think that if you do it, you will never regret. I'd rather have a four times smaller house than what I anticipated I would have. And what I do is, once I collect more money, once I save more money, and I go and I add another portion of the house, and another portion of the house, and another portion of the house, till I complete one. While at the same time, I always have a place to go to relax myself and even help myself if I need with gardening, with agriculture. You know, every one of these pockets is one meter, let's say. So, but the way I would I would do this stuff is by basically using a bulldozers first to simply dig me this here what you see here then what I would do is 
because this is what I would have to do first is this year so that I would even get down I would have ability with bulldozer to go down and remove the first layer of this lake second thing I would do is I do dip in this here first this therefore the axis to whatever is left for me to remove the second layer of this thing here which would be already now two meters deep yes like I said this is a work this is a full-time job this is not the stuff I see people do on a YouTube if you really want to build something serious that's gonna last you that's gonna be cost efficient then you gotta do it all the way then this is what I would do is again I would deepen this so that I could have ability to access let's say in this case this is a third layer which starts here and once removed this is how much it goes now it's three meters deep and so obviously the first what I would continue to do is I would continue to remove first this here and then each layer of this earth to deepen and deepen and deepen and deepen and deepen I think this is also the most efficient way for the trucks and for the bulldozers because this is just the way it is so they can be fast and efficient and they can easily enter and access out of this bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger steeper and steeper hole that you dig this in my opinion is how you do that kind of stuff this is how you basically it's a full-time stuff but once you do it if you properly do it this is where people I think make mistakes this is where the mistakes are made in my opinion this is where the problems go this is where the problems start happening and I don't know maybe I got everything wrong maybe the way I do the stuff maybe it's wrong maybe this is not even the way to do it but uh, I feel that this is exactly the way to do it a 10 meter deep water pocket uh, that decreases the temperature of the lake it gives the chance fish what depends what kind of species of the fish you grow uh, during summer months and so on it gives them also the chance to dunk down deep and cool itself down in the depth of the water rather to be to boil itself on a surface you know and in case nothing never ever anything is wrong if you add some oxygen stuff inside a pump so it will blow the oxygen inside it always depends what kind of fish you're gonna have inside in there of course um, especially in summertime uh, if you're gonna put some trouts in there or something like that uh, it's a different stuff if you have even a pocket of the water somewhere in the middle a narrow pocket of the water that is 20 meter deep where the Sun definitely cannot go anywhere near there's no photosynthesis in there it's just called a bloody fresh nice <laughs> maybe for the, even the trouts to swim somewhere in the, under the sunny Arizona weather I don't know but that kind of stuff this this stuff here uh, this this stuff here has got a whole a lot to do with it this narrow uh, it depends a lot on how how many degrees this this uh, this uh, uh, the wall is you know if 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 this stuff here if this stuff is narrow uh, you know because the water you're gonna have is gonna be under the certain degree as the Sun is moving through certain uh, through certain degrees is gonna is gonna flash the this pond you know if it comes through here of course uh, it's it's not gonna be capable to penetrate inside in there and of course 
uh, if this thing is the, the narrower it is and the deeper it is the less chance the sun has is going to penetrate inside in there i mean i think this like a you know like a house it all depends how what kind of house you want with the energy needs you have to think about it like a house some houses are it depends what kind of energy you try to preserve what is it you want uh, efficient heat efficient or you know there are so many different issues involved in construction of the house performance basically performance of the house what your anticipation is expectations of what you're gonna and based on you use isolation materials some of which they retain the heat others that do not it all depends maybe uh it all depends how you want it right and so the same thing is with a pool with your pool with a pond with your lake finally lake if this is what you want this is investment it's sometimes even extremely expensive investment people are going to do um but there's one thing certain that if you sell your house if you did a really good project and you sell your house um whoever is going to come and they're going to see something like this they're going to say we're going to move by the lake rather than we're going to move to some stinking neighborhood where the only pool is basically inside of the bat tube there is no damn pool it's a concrete jungle basically you know what i mean i mean it's a big 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 ass difference for for entire family for everybody and finally it's i think it adds enormously value to your real estate i don't know how is it with the taxation of this stuff i personally as a state would not go and tax people for doing ponds because it definitely helps ozone layer it helps to protect the weather it helps regionally to lift agriculture all kinds of issues involving it uh, if i would i would give the incentives for building ponds natural ponds like i would require a certain quality you understand there are certain standards that you would have to comply with to get incentives and so on maybe maybe i would even give you incentives and stuff like that but i would really really require people to give something back to the nature not only go and dump the cement and these bricks uh lay them on one another and boom boom and that's it i think the art of construction architecture the the real art of it is the way to build something you can you enjoy being around and not absolutely not damaging the nature or damaging the nature in as little as possible if the nature does not benefit from your stay in my personal opinion you shouldn't be i wouldn't even allow you to build the fucking thing it is simple as this is we don't live in the mid ages we only see people how they dump those bricks on top of one another but we don't see any any difference we don't see any changes real changes and, and it's so much overdue finally people started to use on the rivers they finally started to use uh, electricity powered engines electric engines basically which preserves the water from being uh, destroyed polluted with the diesel with the uh, or gas engines and so on that people roar with that stuff on the rivers uh causing a fucking noise and pollution a tremendous pollution with this diesel yeah, people are so senseless man such a small lake such a small river and you're gonna have a guy going rrr, 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 with this thing uh, spilling the oil spilling the diesel all over the place god forbid that something happens that boat turns around or something all the mussels all the shells from the lake from the river die because of this stuff you don't know what kind of fuck up you're doing and you're causing next to killing the natives the nature the river you're also destroying the river bank 
with your powerful engines uh, which by the way should be speed restricted so that you don't destroy the riverbanks and so on you are so much behind with the laws those laws should be really strictened they really should be changed taking care of the only place in my opinion you should be allowed to use your powerful boats this really is on the sea and maybe I would even allow you to use them on a Lake Superior or something Michigan or something um, Great Lakes but only to the certain degree and preferably even that I would go for electricity powered engines it's time more important much more important than when it comes to the carbon emission involving cars to restrict the boating to make the nature uh, to preserve not only to preserve the nature but finally start to recover the nature because nature is already severely severely damaged so these are the things I would do to make at least try to do things different I watched what people were doing and I was in my own way I was not impressed with it on in other ways I have seen people doing incredible projects everybody did incredible projects it's already makes me extremely happy that so many people that were involved in MK Ultra started to uh, to do it their own ways started to think their own way started to see value in a pond started to see the value in giving something back to nature seeing how animals come uh, and have a drink from that peril and you know maybe some fish maybe throwing yourself sometime in the water but hell you yeah, you can always come to the water water is a natural cooler by the way it's always cool next to the water relaxing even if you throw the the, the desk next to the pool and you you eat the sausage with the bread with your family whatever it is that you do it's uh, it gives you a sense of pleasure satisfaction peace tranquility you know versus uh, a total crap I don't know desert or what you're gonna grow next to some dead trees lake is a perfect place where you can also see some trees fruits and so on there is million things is always gonna give you back always is gonna give you back uh, I don't know I think in the US they even give some kind of taxation they even tax people whatever the hell they do uh, for uh, but I think that's for the pools not for the ponds because really I mean this is nature I mean what you're seeing here this is this is this is this is this is a regional stuff this is always this this is good for the flora fauna this is great man for the birds for the animals for for the trees for everything you revive the whole thing my goodness it starts to get green around in the whole region imagine thousand houses with a thousand small ponds um, fantastic uh, this mountains this rocky mountains in the US uh, completely completely worthless desert that is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger desert could be turned green it could be turned again into green it could be turned green with the projects like I have demonstrated you you could populate the mountains itself even if there is no even if there is no snow anymore and it all turned into the desert uh, you could create yourself lakes like this uh, you could create yourself reservoirs like this that so the nature start to revive itself back if it if you create the conditions for it it's very powerful it start to to recondition itself back uh, finally you have to invest something really back into the nature so the nature gives you um, one mountain with a rainfall with a heavy rainfall one shot like this and you can have one tremendous giant lake fill itself that you can use in the farmers from the area wherever for the rest of the year to uh, for uh, agricultural whatever it is that you want to do I mean 
sometimes it's just a seasonal rain or whatever it is and it just starts to rain and it the rain is rushing down the hill the mountain and before you know it turns into dust it disappears do you understand me what I'm saying? Instead of if you would create a lake, you could retain all that water. Maybe in two, three months of this rainfall season, you could have a lot, giant pocket of the water you could use for the rest of the year, even maybe even for the swimming. This is what I'm trying to say. You need to invest something. You need to start to invest in yourself. This, this is so, so, so important. Uh, even developers that you do development residential development etc etc you know this these are all the things that that uh, should come out of your pocket offering people this type of environment that's for me something that's worthy that's noble something that is that you, that that when you sell that you sell something more than just you know a, a square uh, a box basically a concrete box to the people with new appliances inside. This is just my take. Might give you back something. Uh, I did go over. I did watch your wonderful projects. You do have beautiful projects. I have to say. Uh, it, it hurt me Mr. when I saw this. It, like I said. Always the same. The same. The same thing. They repeat the same to unconscious. If you're one of the 2.6 million people that saw our recent viral video about sealing this pond, welcome to our YouTube channel. Our channel is not just about this. Yeah, so people do this stuff. They do, you know, it's, it's, it's good. I salute this. I mean, I'm just happy that I see people. Something called hope. With, um, you know, and people are coming, manufacturers are coming with a new projects. Um skin, skin so, so we, we try, try to protect, protect our skin, skin from, from that, that but mainly just to keep that stuff off of us another, another comment we got a lot was why didn't you do it right the first time you've got to have clay in the bottom of your pond or else it's always going to leak and that's do you know every one of these people including the gentleman you see here was involved in this case mk ultra this is the stuff that motivated me this this i think in my opinion my personal opinion you can do your agriculture anyone can do anyone can bring the cows and release them on the field to eat the grass uh but you know everything when it comes to agriculture it starts exactly with what you see here with this this is the main thing the main thing is the water when you build the capacity with the water this is when everything starts to happen this is actually the agriculture is to create to build and it all starts with the water, if you ask me. This is where everything, farming, absolutely everything, everything you do in life, it all evolves around the stuff that you see right there. With a big ass decent lake, I tell you, you could feed the entire city of 50,000, whatever. All right, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it would give you, like in China, they, they, they you know, they're doing, in, in China, they're not winning because of this big lake they created. The big lake, I was there, I was everywhere, they had me everywhere, and I am truly happy for Chinese that they have created this lake, you know. Uh, I'm so happy that they did this. Chinese told me there already was a lake long ago, some sort of sea there, so it was not difficult. It's a secret actually, they told me, because I was so much interested in, in this and helping them out with this technology and so on, which they started to evolve. And the, the secret about the China is somewhere else. They started to do exactly the stuff that I told you. They started to create many, 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 as many as possible smaller lakes. This is the secret of success. It's not one big lake, but it's many disponds, many lakes they started to create and actively work on it. You know, everything little, it shows up. A uh, lake, a pond gives you anywhere from fish, and more importantly, maybe even so, if you are a farmer, 
it gives you the water all year long and so on so you know this is just my five minutes on how i would do the stuff i i really could not see myself people watching the people those bulldozers circling around all nervous you know <laughs> i have seen the people <laughs> with these bulldozers uh, bulldozing around uh, like kind of sort of uh, losing their mind man just by seeing that and the, plus the system that I used here that I demonstrated you I think it makes things easy you know because uh, when you when you do something like this and you have uh, I suppose you have you have some kind of pipe here system uh, that will allow you to to uh, if during the construction the water start to pour in and there is a lot of rain that uh, forget about you know the, the stuff I'm talking about is stupid uh, of course you have uh, Chirpalka um, a compressor basically so that it pushes the water uh, out if it if it if it uh, if it makes things impossible for you so the main thing you would really really concentrate yourself is in this area here to to cement to betonage this here into something impenetrable something permanent forever stuff this will be like the main 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 task you know and once you would do this stuff and along the way you would help yourself to to pump the water out the water pump right once this will be done, then the only thing you would do is you could just use this betonite and, you know, the water level would start to raise itself up, you know, and off you go, it's finished and you have your water for next thousand years, like not this 10 years, 30 years. You know, permanent, permanent forever, you know, the big, big, big ass pool of water, like giant ass pool of water, full of water inside, will last you for a thousand years. This is value because it's, it's, it's permanent. And even somebody wants to do the damage to you, it won't be so easy to do the damage to you. You know, there is a way to... To control this stuff and everybody benefits from within this is just my five minutes in respect to pool lake construction i did not come up with any better idea about this stuff than what i demonstrated you it's something that gives you ability to grow even fish inside that likes the cold water uh even the fish that is sensitive to oxygen the temp water temperature uh without using you know the filters the water filters uh, water purifiers I see that the people I seen people fucking losing their mind over this stuff I mean and, and you know it's not a surprising stuff I mean when you consider that the water all of a sudden can turn sour uh, that there is no oxygen all of a sudden all the fish can just die out and stuff uh, this is horrific uh, and it happens all the time you know it just happens all the time so I think that uh, that basically that this is the way to go this is the way to go if you have now the opportunity to have even for the portion of the year the stream that is running through there the bigger that you make the better you're off I mean if you do it like the way I demonstrated you this shit here that this you make giant lake like this I mean fantastic bloody the value that you invest in it uh it's it's entire freaking community that benefits from i mean everybody's gonna go and and swim there or go fishing or whatever i mean you know unless you want to do it for yourself i i think even this is such a great stuff that even communities should get the money together and people together in a free time and start to dig and, and do the work and yes when you dig the stuff when you dig the stuff this is the most efficient way you always want access to 
you know the highway is the primary thing the ability to to be agile fast rapid inside of this digging is basically the way you do it not that you go and you stuck in the mud and you know turn around and try to get out and try to get out and even hang on the on the on the on the edge you know till you roll inside of this hole i have seen people digging this stuff some of the stuff was quite uh, entertaining i think this is the way to do it the bigger the better the bigger the safer the longer lasting the cheaper i think like a wholesale business this is the way it goes in my opinion